Hello Aquarius! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Gendron Tarot by Melanie Gendron. Website on this box is usgamesinc.com. Feel free to check that out if you'd like to, of course. Supportive Oracle Cards. Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. Website here. And of course, feel free to freeze frame and whatever you need to if you need the spelling or something, if I can get close enough. Rockpoolpublishing.com.au is an Apple use an umbrella. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius? Backwards? It's backwards? Why are we backwards? Alright, so I feel like that was purposeful. Things are definitely backwards here. Um, but what, who? Well, and I say that with who because I don't see Aquarius having any problem doing things backwards if you think that's going to work better. It's This reminds me of like when you're drawing, if people, well, you know, if you're connected to drawing, sometimes you literally turn the work upside down so you can see where the imperfections are, so you see where you got to work on it a little bit better. So it's, to me, that's like doing it backwards. You turn it upside down, and then you look at it. You're looking at it at a different perspective. You also, you know, so you can see what's not working. Uh, so I can see Aquarius very openly, very easily going backwards, just doing things backwards just to see where the problem is. You know what I mean? Just to get, like, just to highlight what the issue is. Um... Aquarius isn't afraid to, to step outside the box. I've never seen an Aquarius afraid to step outside the box. I could be wrong. Maybe that's just my perception, but if, it, if that's what it takes, then okay, let's do it. Um, are things going too fast is the question. Because you got the eight of, eight of Wands. It's right here, but it's kind of like... I feel weird about it. Kind of like things are going pretty quickly, but like, do I enjoy the fact that they're going fast? The thing is, if we slow down too much, I just feel like nothing happens, and that's not good. But if things go fast, if things go fast, that's when you find out the truth sometimes. Sometimes. But things go fast, if they go too fast, that's how things slip by sometimes. It depends what's going on here. Um, what's really happening? Come on. <laughs> Five of Cups. And the Empress. Things are going fast. Um, and somebody's moving things a little bit too fast. Definitely. I just don't know what we should do with it. I keep questioning. What should we do with it? The other side is going along with it. I don't know how much they really like it, though. And the other side, whoever you're dealing with seems to be putting in the adequate, adequate effort. I'm going to say adequate. Would you like that to go a little better? Yes. Is it going? Is it okay the way it's going? Yeah. Um, things are going to move forward. Are you waiting or what's the deal? Because there's a decision that's coming forward, but I feel like the other side has to activate it first. They make their first move. It's like we're playing a chess game and it's their turn. Once they've made their move, you'll know what you need to do next. Um, and they have, they're holding back. They're holding back and they're feeling like they don't have enough. I get that. Holding back. Very much holding back over and over. I get that. And still feeling like whatever move I make, I'm going to lose. It kind of, that's how they feel. But they're trying to, they're trying to find a better way. They, they keep looking at the situation trying to find a better way. They keep looking at it, keep looking at it, but they're not finding answers. The thing is, they have to do some move forward. When they move forward, that'll help you decide what you need to do, but you need that. Their move forward shows you their intention, and that's what you need is what I feel. I feel like that's what the point is with this, waiting for this next move. I need to know what they want. I need to see their intention. They can tell me one thing, but maybe they have told you, 
But you're like, yeah, I need to see something behind that. I need to see something that supports that truth. So let's move forward, do something, and then I'll know if you really meant that. Something like that. Or you, you'll get the idea. Um, is there anything that Aquarius could do to help them move forward? I mean, because it might be their turn to move, but it's kind of like I'm using the chessboard analogy again. If you're waiting for the other person to move, you can be like, uh, anytime today you're going to make that move? You're like, Can you inspire them to make that move? That's I think that's what I'm looking for here. Can Is there a way for Aquarius to inspire them to move forward? Seven of Cups and the 14, which is the Temperance card. Uh, I wouldn't do it. Uh, if, if I don't know. I'm seeing Earth. I am seeing Earth. You don't pressure Earth. Um, I mean, you clearly can if you want to, obviously. But they tend to recoil. They, they tend to just hold their ground and wait it out. So if you pressure Earth, it tends to just go slower. I mean, you could clearly do that if you want to try to pressure it, pressure that person, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to have the opposite effect that you want. Uh, so they're like, no, nah, you got to kind of wait this out. Wait it out or they'll just, because if you push on them, they're going to be like, oh, why are you pressuring me? There must be a better way for me to do this. What else could I do? There must be something better here. Then they'll just look a little harder, a little longer, which is not really going to serve you. So if you pull your energy back and just kind of do something else, they'll come forward when, when it's their time to come forward. I feel like we just have to wait. Um, it's coming forward. I feel like what I'm worried about is that it's not going to matter. Which is actually the worst outcome. Like, it could be one of those situations where I can win that car, but it needs so much work that I'm like, <laughs> is it really a win? It's like winning a, winning a car and then putting $5,000 into it so it's drivable. Is that really a win? Like, I technically won, but did I really? Like, did I really? You know what I'm saying? I won a five thousand dollar bill. Is that what I wanted? Like a five five thousand, you know, five thousand dollar debt. Do I want that? Um, kind of like it's the car I want, but not in the condition I want. It's kind of like uh, kind of win, kind of not. Um, that's the worst outcome. The fruitless win. We don't want that. Okay. So what's coming next? We we have to wait. I know we have to wait. We are. But uh, come on. Um, I'm like impatient. I'm getting impatient. I'm getting really impatient. Come on, like, what, what do we need to do? What is this, like, the judgment? The judgment seems to go in your favor by waiting. Okay. Knight of Wands and the Hermit card. No, it's not. Is it? Hermit card or is it the Sun card? That's the question. Well, so you have to wait for them to move forward. You have to wait for them to move forward. I just don't see another way for this to go your way to bring you the success you're looking for without waiting for them. Sorry, that's just what I'm seeing. And it's funny because the more I get into this, the more I just want them to move forward. I really want that. But maybe Aquarius is better at patience. I don't know. For some reason at the moment, I'm having a hard time with it. Um, I don't know. Like, Because you're, you're an intellectual sign. Air is intellectual sign. You know, intellectual signs. You can do other things. You can keep yourself occupied with other things, but wanting this to move forward might be very, like, I really want this to move forward. Now, when it does move forward, I do see them telling you the truth, and I do see success here. Um, they, there's success here. They do seem to have a successful choice. Their choice might be to go somewhere else. They're just... They're moving on from something pretty much effortlessly. That Seven of Swords, I don't always see it as the Thief card. What I sometimes see it as is just kind of like effortlessly just moving on from one situation and going into another, um, but it's effortless. It's just really effortless, and they just, like, I had that option, but that's, you know, I got what I want from it, and I'm just leaving. It's kind of like when you have a good job, and you just, like, you know what, I quit. At this moment, I quit. You walk on. And then you're already going to the next job and you don't really care what happened at the last. It's kind of effortless. Maybe it's not the best way to leave, but that's the way it goes. Um, I do see a lot of success around them doing that. But the thing is, their success translates into your success because that's when judgment goes in your favor. Because however they make their choice, 
it whatever they do, whatever leaves whatever's left behind, it seems to be exactly what you need. Because you get judgment in your favor with the magician and creation. Now I get to create what I want. It's like if this was in your way before, if this was a problem before, it's no longer a problem. This is no longer a problem. And this way, the way it plays out, I just don't feel like any other blocks show up. Um, I don't feel like any other blocks show up. So you get to literally make it what you want it to be. And I feel that more in the sense of like you already know what you really would rather it was. And when this gets out of your way, you're like, here we go. I'm going to create what I want. There's nothing stopping me now. easiest outcome I feel like this whole reading is literally they're telling you you know what you might want to pressure this person and you may have that urge to do that don't do it give them time they'll make a decision that works best for them and that opens the door for you by letting that happen I feel like um, the energy stays very calm and cool and collective if you pressure I also feel like other people around the situation might get agitated and you might have new people becoming new problems or old people becoming new problems, if that makes sense. If you just keep it cool and calm and collected, when that moves out of the way, nobody has an issue, there might be something like, okay, I'll take care of that. Since that person left and this responsibility is left, I'll take that responsibility. And when you do that, you create what you want from it. Life is good. Life is great. It's about the waiting. It's about the waiting. It really is. It's funny because I, I keep feeling that. Like, I really like it to be done. I'd like, I'd like to move forward now, please. You can pressure it, but it just makes it hold on that much longer. That's what I get. We want to avoid the fruitless win. Because, I don't know. The fruitless win is like, that's worthless to me. Like, just a fruit. Like, winning the castle, but it's in ruins. So like, oh, great. The castle's mine. The rubble that's left anyway. No good. Not worth it. Um, anything else? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.